Okay, guys, so today we are in the ghost town of Calderwood, Tennessee. And it's been years since I was last up here. And I'm trying to remember, last time we were here was in 2012. And the last time I seen this church was in 2013. We didn't go inside of it. I've been inside of it several times. They had a gate that was built around it. And apparently somebody took it down, so... We're not going to go inside of it because the last time I was here, it had the entire basement of the first floor had caved into the second. Now let's walk up to it. Looks like the gate is still up, but it has been knocked over. Look at all this kudzu. It's overtaken it. It's gotten even worse. So this church right here is known as Calderwood Baptist Church. I believe it was built in 1954 or 1955. I don't remember which one. But this church is one of two churches in the ghost town of Calderwood. Calderwood was a company town that was built by the Tennessee Valley Authority and Alcoa. And it was basically, a, you know, where the workers for the TVA in Alcoa would go to, or not go to, but they lived in with their families during the construction of Calderwood Dam. Calderwood Dam was built, I think it was around 1920, and for about 30 years the workers lived in this town. And they basically provided maintenance on the dam itself and I would say mostly about around they claim in local history books that Calderwood was abandoned in 1958 but that's not true Calderwood was abandoned in 1978 now look at this guys wow it has really really caved in um, when I was first in here years ago, first time I was in this church was in 2010. And I came in here on a tip from a friend of mine that I used to follow on D DeviantArt. I'm not on DeviantArt anymore. But she told me about the ghost town of Calderwood. And I didn't know about it, so I asked her how to get here. And we went. And when I went in this church, if you look at all this junk... I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is not mud. This is human waste. Um, the sewer had failed. And long story short, it backed up and went all over the place. It looks like to me somebody may have been in here recently. I can't tell. Uh, these are Sunday school classrooms. Um, there was a mural that's right over there. You could barely see it now. Because, you know, there's a lot of mold and mildew that has built up over the years. But this was the basement of the church. This was where Sunday school classes were held. You can see you can't get through here anymore. You used to be able to walk all the way to the very back of the church. And now you can't. And this right here led to the main congregation area on the first floor. Of course, there's the bathrooms. And I'll tell you guys this too. When I first come over here, uh, back in 2010, the smell was horrendous. I'm not going to lie. It smelled like death in here. I've never smelled anything that bad before in my life. It was like literally the smell, a mixture between poop, pee, mold, um, stagnant water that had been standing there for years. And I mean, it was disgusting. I'd never smelled such a horrific thing before. 
and the only other places I've ever smelled something like that was like an Elkmont some of the houses there and there's houses in other places I've been to where they haven't fixed the sewage and I also smelled it in my mamma's old house because she has not found anybody to cut the water off let's go back up um, now this right here what makes Calderwood unique is the fact that it's actually pretty easily accessible um, now I'm not going to really say exactly how you can get here but I will say that this is in Blount County and like I said I've not been here in years so I don't know exactly what this church looks like hang on guys I had to duck Sorry about that. I had to duck and run. Heard a vehicle come up the road. Technically, it says no trespassing, but still, now look at this. You can now see right into the basement. This is where we just came out of. Right here was the uh, preacher's pulpit. It was right in here somewhere. This was the main congregation area. I don't know when exactly this caved in. Um, but it probably caved in around 2000. I would say about 2011 or 2012. And I'll be taking pictures with my phone and my camera from time to time. So if you hear clicking noises, that's it. I'm not really sure what this would have been. This probably was the back entrance to come into the main congregation hall from the side. And from what I could tell, hang on, behind the pulpit here looks like um, where they had a high rise, probably where the choir was at behind the preacher's pulpit. I can hear motorcycles right up there. We're actually down in a, I don't know how to put it, but we're just way down off in the holler here. All right, let's go on the other side right quick. Cause me and dad, we're gonna go to the other parts of Calderwood. Look at all these trees that has fallen over the years. It wasn't like this last time I was out here. I'm really not going to take many pictures of the church because I have, I swear to you guys, over a thousand pictures of this church. So I'm just going to spend my time filming it because I've never filmed it really before. Well, I had, now I did film it once and... This is literally, it's literally the only video about this church that's on YouTube, and I filmed it in 2012, I believe. This was before it really caved in. This was this, here's the side of it. I mean, just look at that, it looks terrible. This was a very beautiful building, and the sad thing is... There are no photos of this place from before. I don't know why that is. That's pretty sad if you ask me. I do know of a few people that actually lived here in Calderwood and they talked about going to this church and they knew people that got married here but they can't seem to provide pictures for me for some reason. This church was abandoned in the 80s, I think. Because local history books seem to tell us that Calderwood was abandoned in 1956 when I've talked to people who lived here up until 1978. And another fun fact is most of the people that lived here moved to Maryville and Oak Ridge. And most of them, most of the people worked on this dam, 
actually went on to work for the aluminum company of america which is in the town of alcoa and some of them worked over at y12 to help build the secret city some of them left during world war ii look at those beautiful beautiful windows i love them I'm just ducking right quick, guys. Okay. Whew. I had some close calls today. Good thing for me, I'm only really short. <laughs> Get some quick pictures of the church here. I have quite a few selfies of me sitting on these stairs. It's sad because, you know... A couple of friends of mine wanted to come over here with us, but we've just not really had the time to do it because our schedules just seem to clash. Let's see if I can get my phone here. Yeah, that way you, can, you all can get a better view of the church. Let's just see under here. There used to be something written right in there. It wasn't graffiti or anything, I don't think. This right here looks like where they would have stored just stuff to keep it clean. I think I've seen what looked like a lawnmower or something. That's what it looked like, I think. But that was a long time ago. Okay, so I'm about to leave. Because Calderwood does not stay open very long. They close the gates at 3. So, like I said, I'm not going to... We're not going to stay too long. We're going to go to other areas of Calderwood that we've never explored before. So, I'll get off now and we'll see you at the next spot.